Okay, hello, this is Dr. Chains, and today I'm going to talk about how to check your fuel pressure with the fuel gauge. And uh, so this, this is a Ford Explorer here, and um, this is our, our handy dandy little fuel gauge, it's a pressure ga meter, and it comes with a, uh, it's got two different types of uh, uh, nozzles that can go on to the Schrader uh, thing. Schrader nozzle. Here's the bigger one, and this is the Ford attachment. So it's a little screw-on thing that goes on there. And uh, this car has been having problems starting every once in a while, about once a month. It won't start for two hours, and I've been trying to troubleshoot that. And um, I think it has something to do with uh, the fuel pressure going low. And I've looked at the uh, uh, solenoids and it doesn't seem to be that and uh, maybe it's some kind of CPU problem or maybe it's the pressure gauge so let's uh, let's look down here this is the uh, hood release right under right under the steering wheel down here and we can pop that guy up and let's take a look under the hood there's kind of a latch thing that you have to reach under here and push it over with your hand. And this hood opens up all by itself. It's got some shock absorbers there that open it up. And let's take a look inside here. Okay, so if we look if we look down here. So this is our distributor right here, right down behind the distributor. Let's take a look down here. Okay, is our fuel pressure? This is on the rail here, the fuel rail, and uh, there was a little cap that goes over the end of this thing here, and this looks like a bi bicycle stem almost inside of it, and you can press that in, and fuel will squirt out. So let's uh, let's go ahead and hook up our uh, pressure gauge here. Let's get this thing lined up. Okay, so anyway, before putting on a uh, something on the uh, the fuel nozzle over there, this guy over here, we want to get into the fuse box. Here's the fuse box, and this, like I said, this is a Ford Explorer uh, 2002, and this fuse right here, there's three fuses up at the front. See, here's the, the wheel down there, and come in. You can pull that guy out. Be careful, don't let him pop away. It doesn't come out easy. And you can pull that guy out. And there's our fuse, and uh, now there will be no fuel pressure on the uh, on the, the uh, fuel rail. Okay, so that's probably a good practice to pull that out before you do that. So here's our fuel pump. Let's zoom in a little bit. Our fuel 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 valve there. Now there's not a lot of room in between here and the distributor, and I found that this cable here, let's, let's open up the legs a little bit. This, uh, this hose for the, we got the pressure gauge here, this, this hose here doesn't flex a lot, so I found the easiest way, because it's hard to get it in there and bend this, this hose around to get, get onto that, because the distributor's right in front of it. So if I take off this little adapter, I found it was a little bit easier to screw this guy on here. So we'll screw him on first. Let's take a look down there. There's a distributor. And we'll get this guy screwed onto the fuel nozzle there. Okay. You want to get that good and tight because you get a lot of gasoline coming out and then you, you don't want an engine fire because that would be bad. 
gasoline has got a whole lot of thermal energy when it gets caught on fire. That's why it's such a good fuel. So we get that thing screwed on there. Then we can screw this this guy here, the other part of the adapter into it. Yeah, so this is a pain to get it in here because you gotta kind of flex the hose. But okay. And we'll get the camera over top so we can see. Get that second adapter on there and it's leaking some fuel out. So I probably should have actually pulled the uh, turned off the battery terminal before I started doing this. Turn off the pump or pull the uh, uh, solenoids, the relays. Okay, so I'm going to try to tighten that up because we got some fuel leaking so we probably should have actually pulled the Okay, so right now we have the uh, engine turned off and I have the key removed. So let's try, I'm going to take the key here, oh yeah, there's our key, and stick it in the ignition and see what happens. Okay. And it looks like there's still no pressure. Let's try turning her over and see what happens then. Let me get some of that gas out of there. Okay. Okay, so you want to make sure that these things are screwed in tight so you don't have fuel leaking out of it. Looks like I should have got that a little bit tighter, so that could cause a real big problem. Engine fire, you don't want that. So, uh, anyway. Looks like we're getting some kind of fuel pressure, but the fuel pressure doesn't come on until the car starts. And so the, this car is having a problem. It's not getting fuel pressure, and it's not starting every so often. I'm not sure why that's happening. So anyway, this is where your uh, valve, valve stem is. And uh, yeah, you want to probably use a wrench to tighten that up, because you want to make sure that it's not leaking. That's a, really a bad thing. It's dangerous to start the car with fuel leaking out. So don't do that. That's Dr. James and thanks for watching.